Hi, welcome again. Today you are looking at a brushified landscape with a mega scan rock blended using RVT. This is without any blending and this is after we enable the blending you can see how nicely it fits into the landscape. And this is another example. This is without any blending and this is after we have blended that and you have more controls on how you need to do the blending and you, you can customize the way how it looks as you wish. Although here we use Brushify as a landscape material, but for the RVT blending, we use OpenLens RVT tools. OpenLens RVT tools are very easy to use. Basically, you can click this button and it will automatically configure your scene for RVT. And in order to integrate with Brushify, it's pretty easy. You just need to add this material function to the Brushify landscape material, as well as you need to add this the same material function into the Megascan material. Even though here we use Brushify and Megascan, but this solution will work with any sort of landscape material and any sort of rock or any asset you like. All right, let's get started. All right, the first thing is we need to enable virtual texture in our project. Go to edit, project settings, and search for virtual. So now you have option like enable virtual texture support. Make sure you have enabled that. In this case, it's already enabled. And after that, you need to restart your project and go with that. Okay, add open land and Brushify into your project. You can even uh, start with the uh, existing Brushify project. Check the description below to how to get open land into your project. So let's open a Brushify map. Go to Brushify, Maps, Multibiomes, and open this map. Just like this, you can open any existing Brushify map and continue with this tutorial. So let's find a place to put a rock. All right, I like this place. So let's get some mega scan rock into this place. I have already downloaded a couple of rocks. So I'll, I'll get one of those into here. And let's scale it a little bit. All right, it's in the size that uh, we want. As you can see, it's not clearly bending into the landscape. You can see the seams and it's unnatural. All right, let's add RVT support. First, go to your content directory. Go to open land directory and widgets and there's a widget called openland rvt widget right click on that and click this first button run editor utility widget and then you have a, a button like this and make sure you have select the landscape from the world outline so you can proceed and simply click this button all right and then you can see we have added some rvt volumes to the the scene and we are ready to go right then select your landscape again from the world outline and you have the landscape material over there and double click on that. Now you get the material function for your Brushify landscape and scroll to the bottom. You have the master material, double click on that. So now you have it on the main window and you have a section called RVT support. This is the built-in uh, RVT support comes with Brushify. It's primitive and it's really hard to work with this. You can select everything and simply hit delete and then right click and search for use open LAN RVT tools connect it like this all right and then right click and search for runtime and you have a section called runtime virtual text output get that and now connect all these wires base color to base color specular to specular like that all right hit save now it's starting to compile, just wait until it finishes. All right, now let's verify whether we have the RVT support or not. Go to your material instance of the landscape and search for RVT. Now you will have some option like this. And here, select the enable RVT cache option and enable that. And it will start compiling again. It's normal, just wait until that. All right, if you can see the landscape as normal, we are good to go. You can disable the RVT cache. If you want to know more about RVT cache, I have a separate video on that. Just check the description below or somewhere in the screen above. All right, now let's add the RVT support to our rock. Just select the rock and from the details panel, select the material and double click on that. Scroll to the bottom and you have the master material. Double click on that. Right, now we have the master material like this. Right click and search for the function use open LAN RVT tools. This is the same function we use on the Brushify master material as well. Right, then connect it like this. 
Now since we are using this on our rock, we are only reading from the RVT so we don't need to connect these other pins. So we are good to go just like this and simply click save. Right then let's go to the scene and select your rock. Now let's check the material instance of our rock and now you'll see there are some new options at the bottom called enable RVT blending and select on this enable RVT blending. Right as you can see it started to blending like this. So this is without it and this is after we blended. So here we have a option called blend smoothness. Try to increase that. It will try to increase the blend height and then you can control the contrast on how it should look. And also you have the normal sharpness. So basically it controls the angle of the blend. Right like this. So now you have options like this, try to play with them and try to get the, the blend that you are looking for. So after this, this is without it and this is after the blend. Alright, that's it. Just like this, you can bring any Mega Skagon rock or any other and you can simply add RBT blending to those assets. So now here we use this on Brushify, just like this you can use this on any other landscape material as well. And the main thing you have to think about is you need to convert your material to use material attributes and then you need to use this material function with that and that's all you have to do. Alright now let's talk about camera depth. Usually when we are working with landscape material we use the camera depth to blend our material nicely. Unfortunately with RVT you don't have access to that camera deck functionality so we need to fake that. In Brushify it has that faking logic built in but you might need to configure based on the size of the landscape. But with OpenLine RVT tools we will take care of that automatically for you. So now let's try to change that. Brushify materials landscape functions and there's a function called mf underscore landscape camera. Double click on that. Right now this is the logic you have to do. You need to customize based on the size of your landscape. But with OpenLine RVT tools you don't have to do that anymore. So right click on and, and search for the function called OpenLine camera depth. Okay now you can see some wires over there just next to the runtime virtual text replace and connect it like this. So now we are using the OpenLine version of camera depth and if you are working with some other landscape material so you might not have this functionality and but you have this camera depth functionality there's something like this or you might simply use the pixel depth functions comes with unreal engine in that case just remove that functionality and simply use this open land camera depth function and it's all you have to do now click save yeah everything is good we are good to go Right, that's it for today. In the next couple of tutorials, we will talk about how to use virtual height field mesh based displacement on Brushify and any other landscape with OpenLine RVT tools. And also we will talk about how to use grass and RVT blending and get really nice options. Alright, see you soon with another tutorial. Bye.